why would anyone make this? What the hell is this? I am kind of getting grandma vibes from this. What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as you can see by the title, we're going to be doing yet another I spent sort of video. Now today, I actually went on Nasty Gal and I spent 400 pounds, which is kind of a lot considering I have never shopped on Nasty Gal before, like not even once. This was actually suggested by one of you guys to try Nasty Gal, so I really, really wanted to do it for a video. So it's kind of like a try on haul type of video today, and I'm just gonna let you guys know my honest opinion on Nasty Gal and all of the pieces that I bought. So if you guys enjoy these types of videos, make sure you smash that huge thumbs up just down below, and also don't forget to subscribe, come and join the dinosaur family. But without further ado, let's get on into the video. Okay, so here is my humongous bag from Nasty Gal. It is packed to the brim, so let's go through it all. Okay, so the first thing I see is this, which is kind of like a lemon patterned play suit, I believe. Ooh, actually, I think it's a dress. Yes, it is a dress. It is so cute. It's so super summery. From what I can feel, like the fabric feels quite nice. It's got like a nice stretchy back as well. And I just really like the pattern of this. I just thought it was so adorable. So let's try it on and see how it looks. So this is what the first dress looks like. I've honestly got to say it fits really nicely. I really like the look of it. The only criticism I have is the fact that it's got like really weird pockets right here. Like they're not actually usable for anything and they're just really close. If anything, the pockets should have like maybe been on the back I don't really know I just find that really strange that they have pockets in the front especially because this is meant to be kind of like a bodycon dress so I don't really know what's going on with that but I really love the design of it it is a little bit crinkled the fabric isn't like the most you know expensive fabric you can get but for the price that we paid I feel like it's not really that bad I also want to mention that I love the fact that it's got like tie straps so you can adjust it to however you want it to be which is great a lot of the time dresses like this come with non-adjustable straps which is honestly the biggest nightmare ever so I'm really glad that you can tie these yourself I've got to say I probably wouldn't keep this dress just because for me I feel like it's a little bit too short and as you walk it kind of like rises up a little bit but if you're okay with that then I would totally go for this. For how it looks, I am gonna give this one a thumbs up because I really, really like it. Okay, next up we have a little two-piece which comes in like this gorgeous, mauvey sort of dusty pink kind of color. So for the bottoms, we just have this little skirt which is so adorable. It's kind of like asymmetrical, which I really like. And then for the top half, we just have this little bandeau which feels really nice quality it's super stretchy too so let's see how it looks on oh my goodness this fits so nicely it's like the perfect pale like pink kind of color and I just am living for it I wish I had this on holiday with me when I went I feel like I could get really good Instagrammable photos with this outfit so yeah I am actually really really living for this outfit I think it's so easy to wear and it's so cute for like drinks or a party or any special occasion really and it wasn't that expensive either so I feel like this is probably going to be one of my favorite outfits from the whole haul I can already tell next up we have yet another two-piece now this is in yellow because you guys know I love any anything yellow especially for the summer I just think it's such an underrated color and it's just so vibrant and it just makes me really happy so I picked up this little two-piece and I'm hoping this is gonna fit me and kind of suit my style because it is kind of different so it's kind of like a wrap front sort of long sleeve cropped up I guess like there's nothing about it that's like super super summery or anything and then the pants have really wide legs now this is definitely something I don't usually wear so I'm really excited to try this on and see if I can pull it off oh my god okay I honestly thought like I was not gonna like this that much because it's so different from anything I own in my wardrobe but I got it because I love yellow and I love two pieces so I really wanted to give it a go and I am actually obsessed so the legs come down quite quite wide and quite low so you definitely would have to wear some heels with this but I love the fabric like it's so slinky and just really really soft and really stretchy as well so it's super super comfy I could totally see myself wearing this for like a late night summer dinner or something when it's a little bit more chilly because it is long sleeve and obviously long leg I also feel like because of the fabric it looks so much more expensive than it really is because the fabric makes it look like it's kind of like a satin or something so it looks really really nice and bougie I am living for this honestly so I'm going to 
gonna give this one a big thumbs up. The next item is actually a jumpsuit. So I really, really liked the pattern of this. I just thought it was so cute and really different to anything I actually own in my wardrobe. So I decided to get it and try it out for myself. So this is kind of what it looks like. It's kind of giving me like touristy like I don't know, safari vibes for some reason. I don't know why. And then the legs are super wide. So I'm wondering if this is gonna suit me. Like I said, I don't really tend to wear a lot of like wide leg trousers. I always opt for a skinny jean. Like I'm a skinny jean girl all the way. So this is definitely quite different for me. So let's try it on. Okay, so this is what this looks like. It's kind of giving me Burberry vibes more than anything now that I've got this on. And I've also just found that it's got pockets, which I think is so amazing. I love when things like this have pockets because that's so handy. So I feel like culottes and like wide leg sort of trousers are kind of growing on me, although I'm not really the type of person to wear this style of clothing. I honestly feel like it's the comfiest. It's so airy and it allows your skin to breathe and it's just so great. It's definitely something I'm not used to, so I'll be purchasing more stuff like this in the future. I think this little outfit is so versatile. It's perfect for summer. It's really comfy and you can dress it up or dress it down. So again, I'm gonna give this one a big thumbs up. Okay, the next item is yet another dress. Now, this one is adorable because it's polka dots. You guys know I've been obsessed with polka dots recently. So, I just picked this up. Again, it's a little bit different for me because it's super, like, long. Like, it definitely goes past my knee. Now, with this one, although it really looked cute on the model, now that I'm holding it up, I kind of feel like I'm getting a bit of, like, granny vibes. So, I really hope that's not how it looks on me. So, let's see and try it on. Okay, I've honestly got to be truthful. I am... I'm kind of getting grandma vibes from this although I really like it like I love the color I love the texture but it's just not right I don't know what it is it just kind of looks like a grandma's dress maybe it's the length it's super, super long. I wish I could show you guys this outfit in full, but my room is not like wide enough. So I'm actually zoomed out as much as I can. And this is all I can show you. I mean, I'm not gonna knock it completely. It is a really pretty dress. I love the sleeves and I really feel like someone else could pull this off so much more than I can. But for me personally, it's just not really working out. So I'm gonna have to give this one a thumbs down. Okay, this next item is honestly jokes. I saw this online and I was like, this is, just so ridiculous. I wonder if anyone's ever bought this off Nasty Al. So it's basically these like tassel uh, trousers, I guess. They're so like multicolored and just really, really funky. I kind of got this as a joke, but I do really want to try them and see if they will be any good because at the end of the day, if they're making it, I mean, someone's got to buy it, right? What in the world is this? <laughs> what the heck? How do you, I'm so confused right now. Okay, wait, I think I've got it. What in the world is this? Can't even tell that they're like trousers. There's one leg and then there's the other. But what in the world? Who would actually buy this and actually wear it out? I'm really like confused. Whoever would buy this for real, I honestly take my hat off to you because I would be so embarrassed wearing these out. And then just to make things interesting, to complete this outfit, I then went, for this absolutely ridiculous feather top. What the hell? <laughs> so this is literally just like a crop top and then it's just covered with like these fake feathers, which I just think is so strange. I've never seen anything like this. I feel like you would only get something like this on Nasty Gal, so I just had to buy it. And I feel like it completes this look pretty well. So let's try it on. I'm actually kind of scared. Um, <laughs> okay, so this is a little bit different. I mean, I honestly feel like I'm low-key wearing a Halloween costume right now. Look at this. How extra is this outfit? I'm kind of living for the movement though in this outfit. Like everything is so like flowy and free but this definitely doesn't go together at all i literally just bought this as a joke so don't judge it together judge it separately okay so first up let's talk about the feather crop top i mean this definitely would be great if you were dressing up as like a crow for halloween but like for every day i just 
I just can't see myself wearing this out anywhere. And now for the trousers, I'm literally just like, why would anyone make this? It's literally so strange. I just don't understand. Like maybe if you were going to like a super weird, like colorful party or something, you would definitely stand out if you wore these. But I honestly just feel like a hairy, disco ball right now and then at the top i just feel like a crow so this is yeah this is my day i honestly did not think i would be dressing as a crow slash disco ball today but that's happened needless to say i think i'm gonna give this one a thumbs down just because practicality zilch um style i just no i just don't see this happening i'm sorry i'm sorry nasty gal but what were you thinking with this so that was a little bit of a nightmare now the next item i have is this long maxi dress that's absolutely sheer like literally sheer as day but i am planning to wear a bikini underneath this and kind of cover myself up a bit but this looked really really cool like i love the vibe of it it's got like splits at the bottom and i just love like the floral sort of embroidery pattern on it i just think it's really unique i've never seen anything like this and although i'm not really a fan of like sheer clothing items i did want to give this a go so i just purchased a simple black bikini to go underneath this to give it a shot okay so this is the next outfit and honestly I kind of like it. It's a little bit out of my comfort zone. I don't usually wear sheer clothes like this. Like I said, you could obviously wear something else underneath, like a crop top and just like maybe a pair of shorts. And I feel like this would be really nice for like a festival or even Coachella. So I am kind of digging it, I've got to say. So I'm going to give this one a thumbs up as well. Now for my next item, I just have a simple pair of ripped jeans. Every time I try a new online store, I always love to try a pair of jeans because I feel like the jeans are always something that's a staple piece in my wardrobe wardrobe and if I can find a good pair of jeans like in a new store then I'm gonna be really happy because I'm always on the lookout for like the perfect pair. These might be a little bit too big for me because I actually picked these up in a size 10 so I'm hoping that they're gonna fit but I really love the rip and like it's very distressed so that's why I picked them up. I do have another crop top that I was gonna wear with the next following item and it's this but I'm kind of confused. What the hell is this? Is it like two crop tops mixed? together I'm gonna have to look at the photo because this is just so confusing I'm guessing it's double layered because it's like all attached but it's such a strange crop top so anyways let's put this on with the jeans and see if I like it so this is what the outfit looks like on now I've got to say in theory this outfit looks quite cute from afar but up close this top is honestly not my size at all this was meant to be a size 8 but look how much room there is and I figured in the end that this is probably what the double fabric is for to kind of like cross it over like this and it just really isn't my size and I really thought that it would be I'm usually an 8 on my top half when it comes to crop tops so in theory this really should have fit now for the trousers they are really nicely fitted they do kind of make my bum look a little bit deflated but we're gonna ignore that the actual waist size of it just isn't perfect like do you know what i mean because my waist is a lot smaller than my hips i've got so much slack of a fabric in the back which isn't great now although i really like the look of this outfit i think it's really cute it just really didn't fit me right so i'm gonna have to give this one a thumbs down okay so the next item is actually another two piece so the bottom half looks like this it's basically polka dots once again i'm really sorry i'm just obsessed at the moment it's super wide leg at the bottom the material is super like airy so i feel like this would be perfect for the summer so now that I'm looking at it up close, I can kind of see some loose threads and yeah, I don't know what that indicates. Does that mean it's like bad quality? Probably not, but the fabric itself doesn't feel that great. Um, maybe it's just the fact that it's kind of like a chiffon sort of fabric and I don't really like that kind of fabric, but we're going to give it a go. And then the top half just looks like this. It's just like a short sleeve top. It's got a little tie thing at the front and then it's kind of like a v-neck I'm guessing I honestly don't own anything in this color in my wardrobe so that is why I really wanted to try it so now on the complete opposite side of the spectrum to the previous outfit this one fits like a glove honestly I am loving this I was a little bit worried about the quality when I first picked it out of the packaging just because the chiffon kind of fabric never really feels that great to me but this feels really really nice now that I've got it on it fits really well around the waist it's super super snatched and it doesn't make my bum look deflated so that's a good sign and I'm honestly really liking this color as well I feel like I was a little bit scared in the 
past to kind of venture out into this side of the color spectrum where it's like greens and blues and stuff like that but I really like this so I feel like I'm definitely going to be purchasing more things in this color from now on. I am giving this one a huge thumbs up it fits really nice and I'm totally keeping this one. Now the next item I purchased is actually an accessory so I have been eyeing up a bag like this literally everywhere it's so on trend at the moment. The reason why I snatched this one up is not because of the tassel it's kind of weird looking actually but it's more because the actual strap is fake uh, suede whereas most of these bags actually have real leather on them which I don't really want to purchase so that is why I picked this one up I'm really happy that there's no leather involved at all and that's what made me buy it so good shout nasty gal good shout and then the very last item I got is this little skirt which is basically like a pleated skirt it kind of makes me think of like school a little bit um, I'm hoping this is going to be my size it feels a little bit wide even though I got a size S I feel like you can't tell on camera what color it is but it's like a light pink it's getting super washed out by my lighting but let's try it on and see how it looks and this is the very last outfit in theory this should have looked really cute but I feel like this awful crop top just really ruins the whole vibe now the actual skirt is such a pretty color it's kind of like a pastel pink slash salmon sort of color and I really like the color of it but I just don't feel like I don't know, I'm not feeling the actual pleats. I used to have a skirt like this from American Apparel actually. They were like so popular back in the day and I really, really love that one but I feel like it was a lot smaller and a little bit shorter as well. This one goes all the way up to my knee and maybe it's meant to be a bit more high-waisted but there's like a lot of excess fabric in the back so I feel like I just knew this wasn't gonna be my size from the get-go. Although it looks really cute on camera from afar, I just know that in person I'm not a fan of it so I probably will never wear it which is why I'm definitely gonna send this one back okay so I mean that was very interesting I mean I spent 400 pounds on this website which I feel like I'm not gonna be keeping every single piece there's some pieces that I might keep like I said but some of them are just a bit not really my kind of taste so some of them will definitely be getting returned but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video do let me know which one of these pieces that I showed you guys was your favorite I will have all the links down below if you guys want to check any of them out also let me know in the comments which other stores online you would like me to test out I've done quite a lot in this series already I'll have all the playlists of all the videos I've ever done in the little eye up there so make sure you guys check them out but yes if you guys have any more suggestions do let me know thank you so so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video bye Mwah.